Hey everyone, Brett McKay here from theartofmanliness.com and I'm outside my front door because today we're going to talk about how to pick a lock. Now you might be thinking, Brett, why do I need to know how to pick a lock if I don't plan on burglarizing somebody? Well, there's a few reasons. First, uh, I think it's important that civilians understand how easy it is to bypass a lock without a key because then you realize that locks really just provide the illusion of security. Um, we think that when we lock our home at night or when we leave our, our home on vacation, that our stuff's gonna be safe. Um, but really, because it's so easy to bypass a lock, it really doesn't do all that much. Um, and so, by understanding the illusion of security that locks provide, it's gonna force you to think about other tactics, other tools you can do to keep your home and uh, your possession safe. So that's reason number one. Reason number two, it's just a handy skill to know. If you get locked out of your house without a key, that's not a problem anymore. Just whip out your lock pick set, you keep in your wallet, and you're into your home. Reason number three, it's just a fun skill to know. I mean, really, this is like Jason Bourne, James Bond fantasies being fulfilled that I think we've all had as men at one time or another. So it's just fun to know how to pick a lock and know that you can do that. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about how to pick a pin and tumbler lock. Uh, these are probably the most common uh, locks that you find on homes and apartments across America and across the world. So what's interesting about the pin and tumbler is that the basic design has been around since 4000 BCE. And this particular design that you see, it's ubiquitous almost, um, has been around since the Civil War, since about 1861. Yeah, it's changed a little bit. People have tried to make it a little bit more secure, but for the most part, it's, it's, we're using 19th century technology to protect our possessions and our loved ones. So I think it's, uh, it's helpful to understand how a pin tumbler lock works because you'll, you'll understand like, what you're doing whenever you pick a lock. Um, so basically, the way a pin tumbler lock works, there's two parts to it, uh, main parts. There's the house casing, which is this part right here, and there's the plug right there. And the way you unlock your door is you have to rotate your plug with your key. Um, and then once it rotates all the way, your door unlocks. On top of your plug, you can't see it because it's encased in the, the house, casing house, there are five or six holes that are drilled into the top of the plug. Inside those holes are a pair of pins. Uh, one is called the key pin because that's, that touches your key whenever you insert your key into the plug. And then on top of the key pin is another pin called a driver pin. So just lay, they're sitting on top of you, the driver pin is sitting on top of the key pin like that. Okay, so to unlock your door, what you have to do is you need to line up the gap between the key pin and the driver pin with the gap that exists between the cylinder house and the uh, plug. And that gap between those two items are called, it's called the shear line. So once you line up the, the gap between the pins with the gap between the shear line, you can freely rotate the plug and unlock the door. Uh, if you don't have the pins lined up correctly, then the driver pin will be bypassing, kind of be protruding between the, the shear line, making it impossible to rotate and unlock your door. So basically all we're doing is we're just lining things up in order to pick a lock. Um, so that's it, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna show you how to do it right now. All right, so the tools you're gonna need to pick a lock, uh, you're gonna need a lock pick set. I got this lock pick set, I keep in my wallet. It's a Bogota set I got from Siri Pick. Um, they also sell them at ITS Tactical. You can also find something similar like this on Amazon.com or just Google it. These are freely available to the public. You don't need a special license or registration in order to buy or own these. <clears throat> the two, two, the, so you can pick whatever type of pick you want. Um, I have my go-to ones based on practice. So the two things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a tensioner wrench and a pick or a rake. Um, you're gonna understand why we call this a rake in just a minute. So the most important, what I think is the most important tool out of the two is your tension wrench. Um, because as you're picking locks with your, your pick and setting pins above the shear line, you need to be able to apply the right amount of tension or torque on your plug so that the pin, so it, the plug will move just a tiny bit and the pin will just stay up there. And you just keep doing that slowly and slow, slowly but surely until all of the pins are set and you can rotate. So 
applying the right amount of tension is, with your tension wrench is key to successfully picking a lock. Okay, so we're gonna pick a lock. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your tension wrench and you're going to stick it in the bottom of the keyhole in the plug, like so. And what you're gonna do with the tension wrench, you're gonna apply just a slight amount of pressure on it. You don't wanna to do too much. If your tension wrench is bending like that while you're picking, you've got too much pressure. And what's gonna happen is the pins are gonna bind. They're not gonna be able to get above that shear line. The driver pin's not gonna be able to get above the shear line and you're not gonna be able to pick your lock. So you just wanna be very ginger with it, just a baby's touch with it. So once you got that in place, you're gonna take your pick. Uh, right here I have a rake with uh, three ridges. It's my go-to one, I feel like it's the easiest. I, I can pick most any locks with this one. Um, again, you'll, you'll find your own preference as you mess with things. And you're gonna stick it in the hole, the top, like so. And now you're gonna, do, you're gonna just, just apply slight pressure on the wrench and you're just gonna rake your pick back and forth. And what you're doing is you're just moving those pins up and down in the lock until you get, um, you get the gap between the key pin and the driver pin lining up with the shear line. Um, with some locks, I found it useful where it, you know, just constant pressure on the wrench isn't, useful, isn't very useful, doesn't do anything. So a back and forth sort of vibration uh, wrench pressure works, and there you go. You can see it feel it's rotating, all the pins are lined up. Just keep rotating and the door in lock and we're in. Well, there you go, how to pick a lock. Pretty dang easy. Uh, one thing I recommend you go out and do is go to the hardware store, buy yourself a pin and tumbler lock and just keep it on the couch uh, on your desk at home. So whenever you're taking a break or you're bored, you can just bust it out, bust out your pick set and then practice picking. Again, lock picking is more art than science. You just have to get a feel for it and the way you get that feel is just through lots and lots of practice. So go and do go and do that. Until next time, this is Brett McKay telling you to stay manly.